Access motors. This says OK. Uh, basically, it plugs in and communicates with the motor. And for some reason, it, um, uh, it will say error or have a red X next to it. Um, that there's a possibility, well, my X isn't, my X axis isn't, isn't moving, and I go here and it says uh, a no motor or an X next to it, then my X motor or whatever motor uh, is, is not operating correctly may be bad and would need to be replaced. And most of this stuff here, you really don't even need to worry about. If you're getting to this stage where you're trying to figure stuff out, call us up first so we can help guide you through it because really most of the time this is more of a diagnostic, I mean it's a diagnostics tab. So it's used to troubleshoot issues with the machine and since you guys are all new users, call us first. Either JJ at IST or Universal, let us know so we can help you versus you kind of coming in going, oh I remember a year ago we talked about it, you know. Um, and that, that way, that way we kind of know what to do uh, to help out. Uh, there's a little test button here. Uh, what that does is that tests the communication between the computer and the CPU. So it'll go through and kind of do some checks and then tell you that everything's working okay. If you're powered up and you see the ILS 1275 deal there and this says disconnected, um, run this test. See if it is actually communicating. If it is communicating, then great. If not, then obviously we need to do some troubleshooting. 